Welcome everyone to another episode of AIM's Grow and Get It. I'm Tom Allis, president of growth here at AIM. I get the honor and privilege to sit with my good pal, Fidel Gonzalez. For those that don't know Fidel, he's been around the mortgage game for quite some time, made a big transfer in his life, moving from a market that he grew up in, uh, in Michigan, relocated to Florida, rebuilding his empire. Besides having the best hair in the mortgage game, as you'll hear, he's also just genuinely a really good person. I got the opportunity last week. We were at an event for EPM. I got to see him on stage, and he was sharing something that really spoke to me. Um, and for those that weren't able to attend, I wanted to have Fidel on here to share on our Grow and Get It series on social media. Now, we've done some things with social media before, but Fidel has a little different spin on that. And one of the things that were asked on stage that I want to kick off here with is, you know, Fidel, why are you sharing so much personal information on your social media? And people asked that question and he gave a response to me that was like, this guy gets it, right? So Fidel, welcome to Ames Grow and Get It. Really appreciate you, my friend. Um, give us a little bit of a, a rundown on what it was that uh, that you covered on that panel and share with our team members here um, why social media needs to be more than just uh, posting mortgage content. Yeah, no, that that's a huge thing. And thanks for inviting me. And, and um, I, I believe, you know, as I mentioned when we were on that panel, I was like, you know, the Pentagon can get hacked, right? The Pentagon's been hacked. So what do we think that us being private is going to keep anybody from like finding out what we do, right? We have to live a very public life um, in reality. And if you want to do really well at this business, you have to be even more, you even have to kind of become like a, you know, I think some of the people like Ryan Allen push things out there, be like a local celebrity, right? And that's what you got to do. So the way I look at it is how, how more, how can you more connect with, with people than being a person, right? So when you're sitting there just pumping, look at all this mortgage content, mortgage content, mortgage content, you just look like a robot and you lose your attention and your audience because they're just like, okay, fine guy. Like, yeah, I get it. You do mortgages. Yeah, I get it. You're a broker. I get it. You do this. You get to do that. Like whatever, right? At the end of the day, people want to connect with people, right? And I think that, you know, I said this and I'll say this to I'm blue, you know, to I'm blue in the face is I believe that right now in, you know, with all the technology we have, with all the ways of communication and things that we already have, you know, instant message, I don't know, eight different social media, <laughs> like all kinds of ways to get a hold of us. But, but one thing is, yeah, it's like, it's like, I, I believe that people are really strive for human connection, right? And even though some of those folks, some of those folks, they'll say, well, you know, I'm kind of an introvert, things that short, we still really strive for human connection. That's how not kind of how our brains are wired, right? If not, we wouldn't be here anymore. We would have been wiped out by something along the way. So it's about, for me, it's about personal connection, right? It's about how you relate to people and how you put out there and how you put yourself out there and say, hey, this is what's going on in my life, right? And it's not always rainbows and sunshine, right? It's it's not always like it's a perfect, you know, world and everybody's, you know, doing just wonderful and this, that, and the other. We go through things and that's okay because when you go through things and when you have tough times, you grow through it as well, right? So it's when you share those kind of things out there, you'll share like, hey, I'm not really feeling well about my production. I'm not really feeling well about, you know, my my health, right? I, I've fallen off my plan. Um, and when you do and share it, everybody's like, hey, I really appreciate that you, you know, kind of said that because it really kind of got me going. Or when you are on it, right? And you're sharing because people take and add, get, you know, grab value from it and run yeah. with it as well. So it, it's it's about being a human, right? And I think that's something that get lo gets lost in, in social media is a lot of people only show the highlights. And it's no, let's show all of it because that's how you really kind of have a uh, earn the i think you earn um a bit of the audience's credibility and attention when you're just sitting there and you're a real person yeah you're authentic right mm -hmm. i mean you're showing like you've shared struggles like i mentioned i mean it's not easy to no. move out it's easy from a weather standpoint yeah. to move from michigan <laughs> to, to florida but uh you know, even, you know, things that caught my attention that I'll speak of personally mm -hmm. was like you sharing kind of the, how hard it was for you, even with, you had your family still in Michigan, right? Your mm -hmm. wife was there, your kids were there, you're coming down trying to rebuild an empire for yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And it was like, you're sharing that. Sometimes it was hard, um, but you, Very hard. 
yourself, right? And a lot yeah. of us, not to say that you need to be puking all over social media that, uh, yeah. man, I got in a fight with my wife last night because she didn't, <laughs> like, that's not what we're talking about here. Yeah. But, you know, being authentic, right? If you yeah. know Fidel, I've, I've had the opportunity to know you probably, I would say, four or five years. Um, and you've always been the same person, right? Yeah. No matter what, what badge we wear, what company we work with, um, what association we like, doesn't matter. You've mm -hmm. been a human. You've been somebody that's been inspiring to people around you. Um, and you share those. You share things that are, you know, maybe it'll help somebody. Maybe maybe it's just you. And this is what's going on today. You know, it's been really tough for me. I spoke with you about how has it been rebuilding business in a new market, right? Yeah. Um, and that's tough, right? Yeah, very tough. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost... It's almost like restarting in a way, right? Um, obviously, you know, leaving Michigan, it's a very competitive mission. Michigan is a very competitive market, right? Uh, less people and things of that sort. So I really thought, you know, of the, the you know, kind of demographics of what mm -hmm. happens in Florida. And then I think it, it's a combination of not only moving completely across multiple state lines, 1200 miles away from your family at the same time, because I got ahead of them to make sure that set everything up, get the lay of the land, understand it before we set, you know, kind of rerouted them here, especially because we don't really have anybody here. Actually, we don't have anybody. Um, so we moved here because we wanted this lifestyle and somebody has got to be that one that goes and stakes the flag and says, Hey, we're going here because that's, what's good for our family. And that's what I'm going to do. So in a bit, you know, who sacrificed most, it was mostly them because I was here. <laughs> yeah. um, but but it's hard, you know, being a father, you're a father, Tom, being a father, it's really hard when your wife's calling you up. And it's like these you know, I have two boys and they're like having like 12, I swear. Uh, they're pretty close in age and they're like, hey, they're doing this. It's just it's hard to focus on when you don't have that root of your family kind of sit, situated and settled it's really hard to focus on anything else because that's, yeah. the, no, that's our, at the end of the day, I think, I believe that's our number one job, right? So, yeah, it's your foundation, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I know for me, I can tell you that if my family isn't uh, secure, if my relationship isn't secure, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it overflows into everything you do because that is, that is the foundation. hundred percent. So hundred percent. So let me just ask you, since you've moved to Florida, um, mm -hmm. how has the re, how has the like re, establishing yourself been going is there any tips or anything that you would a wish you would have done differently or b that you've done that's been working really well that we could maybe share with our members here today so you know i just think it's again uh, you know it, it, you know they say this in real estate and i really kind of think on our side too it's a contact sport right we have to be you know especially when we come to a new market you know you have to kind of go out there and meet people right but don't forget about where it is that you came from as well, right? Well, one of the things that we like to use is that third party trust, right? So, you know, you have this, this triangle of saying, hey, you know, this, 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 let's connect it, right? And, and when you really do well, not only with your business, but how you carry yourself and, and, you know, when relationships matter to you and you actually cater to that, you can actually tap them and they want to help you. They, you know, this, uh, you're creating this like almost like mini cheerleader out there saying, hey, you need to talk to this guy. Yeah. Or this gal over here. She's the yep. she's an amazing human being and just a great loan originator. Um, and the part of the thing that's been difficult for me so far, and I think it's finally kind of our time. And I will say this for a lot of us in the industry right now is last year, like two, the past three years, let's just put it, we went through something that has just never been seen before, right? And anybody could trip over a loan. You could literally get licensed tomorrow, go outside and trip over a loan. That's not the case anymore. Now we have to add value. So now the ones that have been sharpening their, you know, the saws and just really adding to their, their, you know, their repertoire and tool belt saying, hey, we are actually building for something that we take this as a, not, not just a, a job, this is what we do. It shows, right? And when I moved, which which is just common for my life, anytime I do anything big, they, they just got to come with that overhand, right? You know, over the over the top. The market shifts completely. Everything is different, uh, and you find yourself in a moment. You're like, uh, "Oh my god, I'm I'm in a fight now, right? Like <laughs> this is this is legitimate, yeah, right? We all are. We yeah. all are, especially yeah. for someone that moved to a whole new." Whole yeah. new market. And I really like what you said. It resonated with me. You know, our industry for you to build personal connections is a contact sport, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. uh, 
It is. You got to get out there. You got to be a part of the community, right? You, you know, so you have to get out there and be a part of your community. You have to get out. Uh, and, and this is what the cool thing about community is, right? What we discussed at the, at the uh, EPM event is, listen, our social media is the community, right? Those people are connected to us. And those people have people who are there connected with who could see our, you know, our content or our things in our life based on that. So when you live a very, you know, the way I like to do it, I live a very transparent and honest life, right? Um, I have nothing to hide. Um, so it's like, hey, this is who I am. Um, and I believe that we all have a way, you know, to say we're not, I'm not competing against Tom. I'm not competing against Phil or Bob or Susie or Rosie. I'm competing against myself. Because at the end of the day, when I look in the mirror, that's the guy I'm competing against. How can I become better every day and add more value to the world that they say it's Fidel that I want to work with? It's Fidel and his team. It's that's the that, that's the people that I connect with. And I believe that we use social media, we magnify that, but we can't magnify that when we're saying we're just pumping like, hey, we got these rates, we got this product, we got this. Yes, that's important for people to know. But the reality is that I say this too, and they, people always laugh. Mortgages aren't sexy. Right. Nobody, nobody no. like, oh yes, here comes the bill. Right. Like here comes, here comes Tom. Oh God, this is another mortgage payment. <laughs> he put me into this dang thing. So you have to do it in a different facet, right? You have to connect with them on a human, on a human level, or else you're just another, another bill. Uh, and it's not necessarily at first, everybody's excited, gun ho about getting that house and then they get it. And then they realize, oh, Shoot. Uh, you know, that's where those honest conversations with them too, just discussing real honestly about everything, especially in this market, um, really adds value to them, right? Because we're thinking about 10, 10 steps down the road. I'm not just thinking about this next, this transaction or what we're doing right now. I'm thinking about 10 after. That's what we always, you know, kind of strive for. Yeah, makes sense. I like it. I like the mirror analogy. I uh, sat with a gentleman, Jonathan, I was a Jonathan Haddad on his podcast and mm -hmm. I got to share you know, for me, it was a turning point in my career when my manager put a mirror in my cube. And he's like, here is the person that's responsible for all of the problems and all of the success that you have. And 100%. it's on you. It's on you to go out and take those efforts. Today, even it's looking on at yourself, right? You. Even if, you, if the mirror's on your desk right there, right? Even looking at yourself, it's like when I'm on the phone, am I I'm like, Right. Or like just you, you just that 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 vibrance feel, you know, flows right through you. Right. So no matter what else is going on is what's next. Right. That next play. Got it. Man, Fidel, I love you, brother. You've been amazing. I appreciate everything that you've done to help those around you. Thank you for everyone for joining us for another episode of Ames Grow and Get It. We're here every Monday at noon. You can find our past episodes. And I say at noon in the Brokers are Better community. Um, you can find our past episodes. We've had some great episodes. Hopefully give you a tip, encourage you a little to go out, get in your market and grow and get it. And as Fidel said, it's a contact sport. So don't sit on the sidelines. Go out, shake some hands, be authentic, get a chance to meet some of the people that you're hoping to do business with. Be human. None of us are perfect. We all have some issues here and there. But the fact is, you got to be human. You got to be authentic in order to build genuine relationships. Um, as I mentioned, though, Check out our past episodes. It's on our YouTube channel at AIM National. Appreciate you, my friend. I hope you continue crushing it. I Thank look you. forward to seeing you in the top rankings in Florida as you continue to grow uh, your network as you've grown your hair, which is just still to this day, man. We got, we got a little <laughs> empty. But. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you have an amazing day. Thank you, Fidel, for joining us. Got it, man. Thank you for having me. Take care.